Alliance. So yesterday we got some exciting news regarding the new mid-month banner. It is a past banner featuring Kaname, Aizen, and also Gin. And in today's video, we're going to be reacting to their gameplay. Yesterday we checked out their skills and strong attacks. Overall, three characters look very solid. Kaname is going to be a Guild Quest character and basically only be used in Guild Quest since he wasn't given guard break. Aizen looks actually very solid. Has a high damage output. Great survivability. Overall, looking like a very good, just normal PvE character. Also going to be good in Guild Quest. And then Gin is going to be your farming character, increasing the amount of droplets and also links of potions you do get. So you can be great for epic raid farming, especially if you are someone that doesn't own someone like uh, White Day Toshiro, who also increases the amount of droplets and links of potions you do get. But in Gin's case, he's the premium character, so you're most likely going to get him more than Toshiro. And at the same time, he also does read all affiliation dodges, so he is going to be great for farming the weekly scrolls if you are in need of heart attribute scrolls. So overall, I think this banner is actually quite good. I'm going to be skipping it. I don't think it's like really worth summoning on. You should be saving it all to those limited time banners. But all three characters are great. And in today's video, again, we're going to be reacting to their gameplay. Let's see who's going to have the best gameplay. Echo Chan, take it away. Let's see who we start with. I'm going to guess Aizen. Surely we start with Aizen, right? Zama Kaname. Okay. Worst at the start, right? His module looks cool, though. I like it. I can't remember. Why did Blood wear goggles? <laughs> or like glasses because you couldn't see so what <laughs> were they just there for show probably so as already mentioned this kind of make is just going to be a guild quest character right he does more damage in guild quest buffs your character strong attack damage and that's what i guess i kind of like about him he does buff now who is someone you could also use in guild quest but you kind of want to have a team booster so i would have actually preferred if he was a team booster that would have been great would have added more value to this particular character uh but despite him having a very high damage output and being designed for guild quest since he wasn't given guard break you're probably never ever going to use him outside of guild quest which is kind of unfortunate but it's fine you know the power kind of is used to farm droplets so you kind of fans got something to use and at the same time you also have a south wave character coming out potentially sometime next year right because we don't know when they're deciding to drop those if they just drop this gin economy now when are we next going to get a new kin economy i don't know but looking at his nat string is lacking a tad bit on the range because he wasn't given long reach looks like an okay nat string sa1 looks quite decent too very basic is that his sa2 so it's an 800 a we in front of him i kind of like that it's bankai right or shikai and then that's its SA3. You know, I kind of like okay visuals, if I'm being honest. But I do like that SA3, because it's a return of the hearts kind of that we had like four or five years ago. It's almost the exact same SA3, but it's better because it's melee collision. Like the other heart kind of had like range collision strong attacks. So it wasn't ideal. Oh. Oh, okay. Okay. Man, take a, man just constantly taking off those goggles. What, why are you wearing them, blood? <laughs> so, I like it, though. I'm actually a fan of that. So, Suzumuchi, Tsukishi. I probably butchered that. And Makoro... Nah, I'm not even gonna... I said it, but I, I butchered it. I like that it starts off with the, uh, the the moon. That was definitely a big thing when it came to the uh, turn back the pendulum. And then we can... Like, that's actually like a really cool transition. Of like the Bankai getting engulfed. And like now you can't see. So, this is actually a good POV. Of what you could expect when it comes to Kaname. Like, man just disappears. And then hit you with the slashes. The barn kai wears off. And then blood takes off the gogo. So, got some nice cool poses there. I'm a fan of it. I like it. Definitely would work quite well on a thumbnail. You got two poses there. And a pretty powerful soul bomb. So, next up, we have... Look at... That, that, that is so weird to look at. Look at Kid Ginland. That is... So weird. It's so weird. I'm I'm for it though. I like it. You know, even seven years later, we're still getting new characters that we never had in the game. That's what I like about it. Um, so as I already mentioned, Gin is mainly gonna be a farming character, so he doesn't have like crazy amount of like skills and strong attacks. But he is someone you definitely want to get hands on, especially as a premium character, as he does buff the heart droplet drop rate by 30%. Does offer that as a link so you can actually give it to other characters, and also does increase the amount of link slot potions you do get by five, so more link slot premium characters, and also gonna be just really good to farm epic rates at the same time he does have read all affiliation dodges so you can use them in the weekly scroll quest and stuff like that so he's a character you would definitely use just that model bro it's throwing me off it looks so weird i'm not used to seeing gin that small so naturally quite basic i'm not expecting like super amazing visuals for this gin i mean it's kid gin sa1 is a lunch like i'm expecting hanataro type of essays here use some key guys it looked all right though I don't mind it, I don't mind it. And then his SA3 is just, yeah, very basic visuals. Like, I'm not impressed by the visuals. I'm not disappointed because it's Kid Gin. I can't expect anything super amazing. Okay. Whoa. The POV shot? And you got the little pose at the end? Okay, I like it. I like it. 
Um, I don't remember. Does Gin actually use his Shikai as a kid? Is this new? Is this original? I can't remember. But still, I like it. I like that we have uh, a kid Gin just using Shinzo. And it's a POV shot, so maybe we're expecting another POV shot with uh, Aizen. We're the ones getting damaged by these saw bombs. That's crazy. And last but not least, we have the man himself, Aizen. Animations better be on point here. Model looking amazing as always. Definitely an upgrade compared to the four star version that we had like five or so years ago. Now, Aizen's going to be a very good link since he is a 14% strong attack recharge link for the power attribute. And this character has just super high damage output. When at full stamina, you do 40% more strong attack damage. And he's going to have a very easy time staying at full stamina since he was given drain on every single attack. And again, to go alongside that, when at full stamina, you have 20% more full stamina damage. You have frenzy plus one, additional 40% berserker, have a chance to instant kill on his cell bomb, and also does have the spiritual pressure boost. He doesn't have any skills to make it easy for him to fix status on, so that's going to be kind of a problem. But his damage output is high regardless. Comes in guard break and also hitting enemies. Has looks to have a decent strong attack kit. So overall, this Aizen looks quite like a just a fun character. Only really lacking havoc, basically. So Natrin's alright. So he is a ranged character. It's weird to see his Natrin look like that, I'm not gonna lie. And Aizen using attack like that, it's weird. So SA1 is the vortex in front of him. Looks alright. SA2 is a is that sh I can't remember what, what keto that is, but it's a keto attack. Oh, that is a beautiful SA3. That is a beautiful SA3. So it's very similar to what Shinji did, opening the portal. Or like the hidden thing that they have. That looks amazing. Wow. Hopefully he does that in the Soul Bomb too. Because I remember like Shinji's Soul Bomb actually looks quite impressive. Even like what, four or so years ago. So his Soul Bomb is Moonlit Blade. Let's see it. Are we getting a POV shot? Okay. 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 Ah, oh, it's a bit of an iffy one. Not gonna lie. I like it. Again, it's another POV shot. Um, is this what he already saw? <laughs> or Shinji? Is <laughs> I need to rewatch this arc. This is one of my favorite moments in in the Bleach anime, by the way. Again, loving that we're getting the uh the, the moon right. So man just slashes you. It's a very simple soul bomb. I can't really be disappointed by it. Maybe the direction wasn't the best here, but it's literally just you on your knees and Ivan slashing you, right? And despite it being quite minimalistic, it still has some good animations to it. Again, you see like him walking forward, you have the trees in the background moving. You even have like when he moves his, when he flicks his blade, you have like the wind pushing the trees and stuff like that. It looks cool. Backgrounds look amazing. Again, I'm, I'm actually really liking this background here. Normally, Sobums can feel quite empty, but this one definitely doesn't. And then just there's a slash. Not too bad, not too bad. So overall, uh, Vigil's are actually just quite decent. Again, it's a mid-month banner premium from the past. They didn't really do much, so they're kind of like, you know, a bit iffy on what they could do. Definitely were a tad bit limited, so I'm not really too disappointed. But Aizen, I think, looks great. I think he's my favorite of the three. Again, just looks weird to me. I'm not sure how I would rank it. Probably Aizen, Kaname, then Gin, I'd say is how I'd rank it in terms of the visuals. And in terms of the characters that I want, it's also Aizen Gin this time, then Kaname. Aizen, I just think, is a really cool character, and I actually just want to play as him. So that's why I want him. And then Gin's case, I want him just because he's a good farming character, right? Kaname, I can kind of go without. I don't really need him. But it's another Guild Quest character designed to make Guild Quest easier. Um, if you guys don't know, it's not confirmed, but like we're probably going to get a new Guild Quest eventually. It's just a matter of time. We have so many characters coming out now that just make Guild Quest super easy, which is great. But it's getting to the point now where it's like, it's too easy for the most part. I know some people might still struggle, but regardless, these characters are premium characters. And like, he's going to be hitting ridiculously hard in that guild quest. Pairing with someone like Fowers and Yabba Rugi or any like just really good Aronk killer, they're going to have a, such an easy time just beating the guild quest, right? So a new guild quest, in my opinion, is definitely due. Might not happen soon, but it definitely will happen eventually. And I kind of hope it does, because it spices up the game just a tad bit. But with that said, that was the video for today. Reacting to the three new characters in the comments below. Let me know who you like the most in terms of visuals. Regards to the stats of skills, that's what we talked about yesterday. We're only here to talk about the visuals. Who were you most impressed by? For me, in terms of strong attacks, I liked Aizen, many fruits, SA3. Soul Bomb, uh, I think I liked Kaname's the most. But in terms of visuals, I'm going to go with Aizen, Kaname, and then also Git. Looking forward to see what end of month it's going to bring. Because honestly, I have no idea what it can be now. I was really expecting it to be Safri. It could be Fowers in your Blood War. But then end of year might be Fowers in your Blood War. It might be even another premium banner. Who actually knows at this point? But with that said, hope you guys did enjoy the video. I'll see you guys next time. Take care and peace.